Hi, Steve here. In this video, we're going to find out how to find jockeys and trainers in Australia and New Zealand to bet on with the jockey trainer bot. Okay, where you need to go to is ubet.com. I find that uh, th this website gets the jockey trainer challenges up the quickest. Click on racing. And then we've got jockey challenge here. If you click on racing and you don't see jockey challenge here, you can go into the, today's races and get it that way. So we click on jockey challenge and it comes up with the next one that's open at the moment, which is Fackenham. And we can see the prices of the jockeys here. Ben Thompson at 270, Damian Lane at three, uh, any individual jockey at 6.5. Well, obviously we can't do that one. Brad Rarilla at nines and Jai McNeil at tens. So in this case, we could just use these four jockeys if we wish, or if we click on down here, it will open up with more jockeys as well. Regan Bayless, Jake Noonan and Luke Curry down the bottom. So if you wanted to use your six tabs, you could use those four plus another two, or you could use um, two trainers to fill up your six tabs if you're only doing the packing and meeting. Now from here, it's good to know sort of, Ben Thompson may just have three rides for the meeting and they may be three short priced horses. So to find out if this is if these are the best jockeys to go for, we need to go to another site. And the one that we use for that, once we've had a look at the jockeys and the jockey challenge, the next site you want to go to is racingandsports.com.au. This one here, the links below, is very comprehensive. Today we can see, being Thursday the 12th of April, it's covering five meetings in Australia, two in France, one in Wave, uh, New Zealand, one in South Africa, and four in the UK. So if we go to the meeting that we're looking at, the Pakenham, click on that, we get the free form guide. Now what this does, the free form guide enables us to have a look at how many mounts the jockey's got and how many horses the trainers have got in this one meeting. So it's very handy. If we click on jockeys, it will show jockeys here. So Ben Thompson has got five mounts today. Brad Willer's got five. And as we scroll down, Damian Lane's got four. Jai McNeil's got three. So you can see how many horses the jockey's riding. Now the reason that it's reasonably important to know that is because in the jockey challenge you may have someone that's short but they may only have two mounts which are both odds on. Well, to select that jockey, um, the bot wouldn't bet, obviously, because well, in my case, I don't bet odds on. So it's always interesting just to see how many horses the jockeys have got for that meeting. It doesn't mean that you go to the jockeys that have got the most mounts, because some of them, some jockeys just put out a book full of mounts of hopeless horses. So once we've done that, the next thing we need to look at is the meeting statistics. If we click on this, this will tell us how the jockey goes at that track. Okay, so Ben Thompson, which is right up there in the in the um, jockey challenge, he's in his last 50 rides, he's had a 10% strike rate. Brad Willer in those his last 50 rides has had a 16%. Damian Lane has had an 18%. That's over the last 50 rides. In the last 350 rides. Uh, on this side here. And this is the value of the stake um, average per winner. So you can see here, for example, Damien Lane is obviously winning a lot of big races because his average winning stake is, is 200, his average stake earnings are uh, 23,000 per ride, per winning ride or place ride. So you can see up the top here, Arthur Robinson. It's 340, so a big drop. So obviously Arthur Robinson has been riding a lot of small meetings. The next thing we need to do, and you can print that out if you want to. The next thing you look at is we want to see the trainers because we've sorted out that four jockeys. 
So now let's look at the trainers for that meeting and see what trainers have got uh, horses running and how, how many horses they've got. So in this site here, we can see, obviously as we go down, there's a few trainers here, only got one or two horses. One of the leading trainers in Victoria where this meeting's being held is um, hayes Dabnick combination. And they've got five horses there and we can see the riders on those five horses. Only one of those horses has got Dame five horses there. So hayes Dabnick have got five horses of which one is being ridden by one of the jockeys that we have in Damien Lane. So that's, I would have hayes Dabnick and the other one is Darren Weir. I always back Darren Weir, so this is why uh, he's got four running. He is the leading trainer in Victoria and Australia's leading trainer. We can see there that we're going to duplicate four horses because we've already got them, because we've already got Brad Willer and Damien Lane. Jamie Mott we haven't got, so he'd be a, an extra horse that we'd be betting, obviously. And he has two horses in race seven. So in race seven, we'd have two horses running for us. So basically what I would have is the four jockeys in the top of the challenge and the two trainers I'd have, Hayes and Weir. I mean, you don't need to have it split like that. You could just decide to have all six jockeys that you wanted, or you could have three jockeys for this meeting and three jockeys for another meeting. This meeting here, by the way, at um, Pakenham is, is a... A, um, a late start so it would start about eight o'clock in the morning in the UK so if you're in the UK and you wanted to bet some Australian racing well here's one that you could do um, at a reasonable hour the next thing we need to look at obviously we can look at trainer for the meeting statistics and this tells us much like the jockey one did it tells us how many winners uh, the trainers that are at this meeting have got look at Darren Weir there who's got 10% strike rate Hayes Dabernick has only got a 6% strike rate but I don't discount them because they do produce some good winners okay so you can print that off again but that's inter interesting information if you want to get uh, Tony McAvoy has got a 28% strike rate. So just let's have a look at what Tony McAvoy's got in today's racing. Tony McAvoy's got two horses running today and Luke Curry, which is a jockey that was fairly well down on the jockey challenge, but never discard Luke Curry and Tony McAvoy. So in all realism, I would probably be better off not to be backing Darren, Hay uh, Darren Weir today because Obviously, it would only give me one new horse, but I could back Tony McAvoy if I wanted to and get um, two different horses. How, how much time you put into this is really up to you. If you just want to go and do the jockey challenge and bang them in, that's fine. I've done that many, many a time in testing in this spot, and it's worked fine for me. Okay, so thanks for watching How to Find Australian and New Zealand Jockeys. Um, New Zealand, sorry, is just exactly the same as finding the Australian ones. You use the same two websites and you get the same information for both. So thanks for watching this and I hope you um, see some merit and uh, grab our jockey trainer bot. Thank you.